everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today, our lessons is more focusing on reviewing past year exam questions for spring 2017, part one of two. Without further ado, let's get started. Small crystal of purple K and O4 and orange K2CR2O7 were placed at the centers of separate petri dishes filled with other jelly. They were left to stand under the same physical conditions. After some time, the color of each substance has spread out as shown. The length of the arrow indicate the relative distances travel by particles of each substance. Which statement is correct? If you look at dish 2, K2CR2, O7, total molar mass is about 294.781. And meanwhile, for dish 1, KNNO4, and the total molar mass is about 197.13. So, diffusion is actually the movement of a fluid from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. So, what is actually the statement is correct here is diffusion is slower in dish 2 because the mass of the particle is greater. The answer will be D. Impurities change the melting and boiling points of substances. Sodium chloride is added to a sample of pure water. How does the addition of sodium chloride affect the melting point and boiling point of the water? So, impurities decrease the melting point and increase the boiling point. And this is due to the reason that it stabilizes the liquid phase and make it more energetically favorable. Then it extends liquid range to lower temperatures and gases molecule to the higher temperature. The answer will be C. The diagram shows a chromatogram of four substances. Which substance has an retention factors value of approximately 0 0.32. Based on the calculation, retardation factors is distance traveled by the substance divided by distance traveled by solvent. So in this case, if we take A baseline, so we have 6 divided distance traveled by substance or A is 6 divided by distance traveled by solvent, which is 19, you get the value of 0 0.312. And you round to the nearest value, you get 0 0.32. So the answer will be A. Which element does not form a stable iron with the same electronic structure as iron? All aluminium alloys are thermally unstable with their properties being affected. To some extent, by service temperature and time. So in this case, the answer will be aluminum. Graphite and diamond are both form of the element's carbon, which row shows the number of other carbon atoms that each at carbon atom is covalently bonded to in graphite and diamond. So in graphite, each carbon atom is covalently bonded to three other carbon atoms. And in diamond, each carbon shares electron with four other carbons atom, which is forming four single bond. The answer will be D. Which statement describes metallic bonding? The attractions between a lattice of positive ion and delocalized electron. Which equations are balanced? So the answer will be one and four. Why one and four? If you see here, Fe on the left, Fe is 2, 
oxygen is 3 plus 3. Then you get the value of 6. So C here is 3. Let's look on the right hand side. You have 2 Fe and you have oxygen is 6. 3 times 2, you get 6. And the value of C is 3. So number 1, the equations is balanced. Number 4, you get the value of CA is 1 on the left. C is 1. Oxygen is 3 plus 4. You get 7. Hydrogen is 2. And S is only 1. So on the right hand side, you can see CA is only 1. C is actually 1. And oxygen is actually 4 plus 1 if you already find plus 2 equals to 7. 7, 7. Hydrogen is 2. is also hydrogen is 2. And S is equal to 1. The same thing like this S is equal to 1. That means 1 and 4 shows that the equations are balanced. Passion carbide CAC2 react with water to form ethene. C2H2 and calcium hydroxide. The equations for the reaction is shown. Which volume of ethene is produced when 6 grams of water react completely with calcium carbide? From the equations, for every 1 mole of calcium carbide, 2 moles of water are required to react completely. So to determine the volume of ethene, produced from 6 grams of water. First, you need to convert the mass of water to mole, where the molar mass of water is 18 grams per mole. So, 6 grams of water is equivalent to 6 divided by 80. You get the value of 0 0.333 moles. Since 2 moles of water are required for every 1 mole of calcium carbide, this means that 0 0.333 moles of water is enough to react with 0 0.33 divided by 2. You get the value of 0 0.167 moles of calcium carbide. The molar volume of gas at standard temperature and pressure is 24.45. The molar mass of it is 26.01 gram per mole. So, 0 0.67 mole of ethene will occupy 0 0.167 multiplied by 24.45. You get the value of 4.06. 4.06. As a result, the volume of ethene produced when 6 grams of water react completely with CAC2 is 4.06. The answer will be A. Which statement about electrolysis is correct? During electrolysis, the cathode is negatively charged, while the anode is positively charged. In the circuit, the electron flow in the opposite direction to that of the current. Thus, electrons move from the anode to the electron. So, electron move towards the cathode in the external circuit. The reactivity series for a number of different metals is shown from most reactive to least reactive. And the diagram shows different metals strip deep into an electrolyte. Which pair of metal produce the highest voltage? The answer will be from most reactive to least reactive, which is from magnesium and Platinum. Which statement about fuel is correct? Hydrogen can also serve as fuel for internal combustion engines. As hydrogen is combustible and has a storage problem, transportation is also a problem for hydrogen gas. So in this case, the answer will be hydrogen is used as a fuel, although it is difficult to store. Which statement about exothermic and endothermic reactions are correct? 
An exothermic process releases heat, causing the temperature of the immediate surrounding to rise. And methane releases heat chemical energy by undergoing hydrocarbon combustion. And the hydrocarbon combustion react, reaction releases heat energy and is an example of an exothermic reaction. The answer will be number one, during an exothermic reaction, heat is given out and burning methane in the air is an exothermic reaction. The equations for the reaction between hydrogen and chlorine is shown. And this is actually the reactions of exothermic. And the bond energies are shown in the table where the energy, the bond of the energy is shown in the table. And you have to calculate what is the energy change for the reaction. Using this formula, you can see that you got H linked to H, which is 436, plus Cl linked to Cl. You can get from this table, which is 240. 436 plus 240, you get the value of 676. This is energy in. Meanwhile, 2HCl, HCl is 430. When there is a 2 in front, 2 mole in front, you have multiplied 2 times 430. 30. Then you get the value of 860. This is energy in and this is energy out. Formula for energy change is energy in minus energy out. 676 minus 860, you get the value of negative 184 kilojoule per mole. A gas is produced when calcium carbonate is heated. And which type of change is this? I would say this is a chemical. The heating of calcium carbonate to get calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is a chemical change. And as a new substance with different composition and chemical properties are formed. So the answer will be A. A student was investigating the reactions between marble chips and dilute hydrochloric acid, where you have marble chips at the bottom and it's been diluted under hydrochloric acid, 25 centimeter cube. And this is the gas shrink which changes show down the rate of the reaction. In terms of the temperature of the acid, it will decrease. And concentration of the acid is also decreased. And the surface area of marble chips is also decreased. The reaction used to manufacture ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen is reversible. And an equilibrium can be established both ammonia, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Which statement describes the equilibrium? Equilibrium is a condition that occurs when a chemical reaction is reversible and the forward and reverse reaction occurs simultaneously at the same rate. So the answer will be A. Both the forward reaction and backward reactions have the same rate. An example of a redox reaction is shown. Which statement is about the reaction is correct. Cu2 positive is the oxidizing agent, whereas Zn is the reducing agent. So in this case, Zn is a reducing agent and it reduces Cu2 positive. Which type of oxide is aluminum oxide? Aluminum oxide is an infoteric oxide because it reacts with acid as well as bases and gives salt and water. So the answer will be m which a statement about a weak acid such as ethanol acids are correct. It reacts with the carbonate, yes. It does not neutralize aqua sodium hydrochloride solution, not correct. And it turns red litmus blue is also not correct. And it is only partially ionized in a solution. So the most suitable answer will be one and four. Silver chloride is a white solid which is insoluble in water. 
which statement describe how a sample of pure silver chloride can be made. So given the answer is you have to add aqua silver nitrate to aqua sodium chloride and then you need to filter. With that being said, that's all for today's presentation. Hope that you understand the context and justification to answer the questions given in the multiple choice questions. So please don't forget to subscribe to John Stanley YouTube channel. And there will be a customized note at beacons.ai slash John Stanley. And the other options to access to Beacon page is via John Stanley Instagram. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you in the next presentation.